people like you. You have to trust me, my dear. I don't want to do this. I don't want to be away from you. But I don't have any other choice. I just know, my dear. I feel in my heart. I know that one day we'll see each other again we're going to be together again my dear please trust me on this and forgive me because now we have to go our separate ways I love you so much <laughs> I love you so 
I love you so much. Forgive me. I'm doing this because I love you. I love you so much, Chantabella. I love you so much. lives and prospers. Half human, half fish. And this beautiful kingdom is called Serenaya. In this kingdom of Serenaya, there's only one thing that's important and is above everything, and that is love. shot him. But then it was you. You were the root cause of why my beloved son was killed. And that's not true. That's not true. No, it isn't. What do you mean that's not true? If you hadn't given birth to that hideous baby, 
This town wouldn't have this bad luck that we're experiencing. And the townsfolk wouldn't have gotten angry. The people wouldn't have gotten angry, and my son would still be alive right now. Please stop it. Have mercy on me. So where's your baby? I said, where's your baby? Tell me where your baby is. Tell me where your baby is so that I can get rid of her right away. Where is she? She's gone. She's gone. I brought her to a place where none of you will be able to find her. My baby's gone. My daughter's gone forever. My daughter's gone! What happened to your mother is such a tragedy. And it's also so sad that at such a young age you're separated from her. But don't you worry, Jezebel. I'll take care of you. And that's because you're one very special mermaid, Jezebel. You wretch! You're a wretch! You animal! You animal! I hope you don't run it out! It's just so No, please, please. I didn't want what happened. Please stop. Stop hurting me. Please stop. I will take good care of you, my dear. And don't worry. I will be your mother for now. Get out of here! Get out of my life! Get out of here! Okay, I will. I don't want to see you! Greetings, Banak. Greetings to you too, Saro. What can I do for you today? I don't think I recognize that baby. Who is she? Does the Queen know about her? of Serenaire, all hail our Royal Highness Queen Janga! Where is the perpetrator? <laughs> Your Royal Highness, that mermaid there was caught in possession of objects from the surface. What? What do you mean she can't be locked up? She's the reason why my dear son got killed. Madam Felicia, she's not the one who killed Tino. I don't care. I want to see her rot in prison. So tell me, is that true? It's true, merciful queen. But I swear I didn't get... <laughs> but we can't do that, madam. And why can't you? Because, madam, Lucia here didn't do anything wrong. And we've already caught the person who shot Tino. We found the case against that person. So what about this wretch then? You're gonna set her free? <laughs> this is what happens to those who defy the orders I've given. Lock her up in the dungeon. <laughs> So that's it? Felicia! Stop it! Why are you doing this? I want to see her locked up. Because she's the reason why our one and only son got murdered, Ernesto. That's enough. Let's go home now. We still have a lot to take care of for our dear son's wake. Come on. Felicia. Get out of here. I want to leave this town forever. Take all of your bad luck with you. <laughs> your child is very beautiful, your royal highness. 
Her scales are the most brilliant that I've ever seen. A sign of genuine nobility. <laughs> My dear Queen Janga, <laughs> Banak is here. Thank you, Asaro. Banak, Asaro has told me about what he found out. From what I know, you never got pregnant recently. So who is that baby and who are her parents? Answer me or I'll have that baby killed! I gave her the name Jezebel. Yesterday, someone left the baby in front of my home. I do not know who her parents are. Are you sure you're telling me the truth? Your Royal Highness, I am telling you the truth. But where'd she come from? Who's her mother? Probably there's a mermaid who got pregnant. And the father left her. Or they didn't want the baby. I was going to ask for your permission, Your Royal Highness. If you'll allow it, I will be the one to raise Jezebel. Uh, and why would you want to do that, Banak, when you have your own child? I've always wanted a daughter, my beloved queen. Now that opportunity has come. All right. I will allow it. But on one condition. Anything you want, my queen. You can go and raise Jezebel. But the moment I find out that you lied to me about this, I'm going to kill her, then kill you, and I'll kill your son as well. Jezebel, you're going to live here in our home. I really hope you love it here. You're going to live here with me along with my dear son, Bukanding. I'll raise you and take care of you as if you were my real daughter. And no one will ever find out who you are and where you came from. No one will know who your real mother is. you for loving me. I will never forget you for the rest of my life. I will always have you with me in my heart. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye. This does not mean the end. I swear to you, one day, I'm going to make you pay for all the things that you've done. For all the cruelty you've shown me and my daughter. Is something the matter, my love? I'm just happy, Usardo. I'm very happy right now. I've waited for a very long time to become... To become a queen. And now, you are the one and only queen. Things didn't come easily. You know that, Osaro. And you wouldn't have gotten this power you have if it weren't for me. You don't have to worry. I never forget anything. 
I never forget those who have helped me out, and you know that. But are you sure that she is dead? I am sure. I'm quite certain she is. I saw Octivo kill her. Jezebel, look on Ding, eat up. Jezebel, don't forget to give thanks for your food, okay? Oh, great God. Thank you for the never-ending supply of the same food that you always give us in this household of ours. Jezebel, please pray properly. <laughs> Dear God, thank you very much for the delicious and nutritious food that you always give me and my family. Thank you. There you go. All right, eat up. Start eating. Finish the food on the table, okay? It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Mother, hmm? why do we always have seaweed during our meals? Can't we eat other things? Something delicious. Like what, my dear? Oh, I just remembered. All we can really eat around here are nothing but seaweed. But why don't we try to eat other fish? Jezebel, you know very well we're not allowed to eat other creatures that live with us here in our kingdom. You know better than that. The sharks are better off. They can eat anything they want. Where did you two see a shark? Well, no, she hasn't seen a shark yet, Mother. I just told her about it. Oh, goodness, I thought you two saw a real-life shark. But in case you two do come across a shark, make sure you hide, okay? Don't forget, sharks are dangerous. And the two of you cannot protect yourselves from sharks just yet. Better beware. You wouldn't want to get eaten by a shark. Yes, yes mother. mother. Good day to you, Bannock. And to you too, Usaro. Jezebel is being summoned by our Queen Janga. What for? I'm being summoned? Your scales should always be the shiniest, Burbola. Mother, do you really think my scales can be a lot shinier? I mean, I have trouble seeing already because of the glare. That's not enough. Since you are my daughter, you should have the shiniest scales in the entire kingdom of Serenea. Only the members of nobility like you and Erebus have the shiniest scales. You know that. Did you hear me, Burbola? Uh, uh, yes, yes, I heard you, Mother. Good day to you, Your Royal Highness. You wanted to see me, Your Majesty? Jezebel, my daughter Burbola here needs a servant. And I want you to serve her. You will accompany my daughter wherever she may want to go. Whatever you wish, my queen. In a while, Jezebel, I want to go outside the palace too. That's why I told my mother to get me someone who'll accompany me. I'm grateful you chose me to be that person, Princess Verbola. Well, you really should be grateful because you're very lucky. You will be spending time with me, the princess of the kingdom. Don't you think? That's such a great honor, Jezebel. Why are your scales so shiny? Huh? You think so? Oh no, I just thought they were shiny. I mean, why would you have shiny scales, right? When you're not a member of the nobility. Anyway, let's go. I'm sick of this place already. Alright, where do you want us to go, your royal princess? I want to go up to the surface. But it's forbidden. The surface? Where's the surface? Where did you hear about that? Princess Verbola told me about it. She said it's a beautiful place, with various and weird creatures. Creatures without fins and scales. I bet they're so ugly. 
Imagine that. They don't have fins and scales. So, what do they have instead, Mother? What they have are called legs. And those creatures are called human beings. And they can be found in the surface? Yes, dear. Because those creatures can't breathe like us here underwater. Is the surface a beautiful place, Mother? Hmm. I think it's much more beautiful under the sea, my dear. I knew you'd say that. But then, I still want to see that place, Mother. That's not possible, Jezebel. It's forbidden for our kind to make contact with creatures from the surface. More so, to fall in love. What do you mean, fall in love? You know what, my dear? You asked too many questions. I think it's time for you to sleep. Come on, Mother, please. How does one fall in love? That's very easy, darling. And even more so with us mermaids. When you see the one you're destined to be with, you will know that it is him the moment you see him. You will clearly hear his heart beating. And it can be deafening. And for us mermaids, there is only one person that we will love for the rest of our lives. Well, me, I don't want to fall in love. I just want to be by your side my whole life. <laughs> mother, can mm -hmm? you tell me what my real mother looks like? She's very beautiful, Jezebel. As beautiful as you are, and as beautiful as your shiny scales. This current will take you to the surface. Too bad, I can't go there. But then, no one is going to know if I take a peek. It's a lot more beautiful under the sea. And those are the humans Mother told me about. Those are probably the legs. I wonder what they're doing with their legs. What's that thing over there? Is that a fish? I wonder if that's the whale that Bukunding was talking about. Bukunding, have you seen Jezebel? No, Mom. Why, is she gone again, Mom? I've been looking for her the whole day. Maybe she's at the coral reef. I went looking for her there earlier, but she wasn't there. I wonder where she swam off to.
This doesn't seem like a big fish. Isn't Jezebel supposed to be with you? No. I didn't leave the palace. That's why she's not with me. Anyway, why are you looking for Jezebel? Nothing. I was going to ask her to be my companion. Why don't you just ask Mother to get you someone to be your companion? You're a member of the royal family too. So you can ask Mother for anything that you want. <sighs> hey you! Can't you move any faster? Hurry up and finish making my scales shiny. You're so slow, it's so annoying. Help! Help! Somebody help me! Help me! Somebody help me! Mother, Bukanding! Mother, help me! Get me out of here! Mother, Bukanding, help me! What are you doing there? things worse. Please help.
aqua drink. They call you a shark? You're too fast for me, Jezebel. I can't keep up with you anymore. Why did you sneak up here again? Doesn't your mother suspect anything? I get bored down there. Admit it. You're looking for someone. It's so obvious I can tell. Have you seen him? Who? Your Prince Charming? My Prince Charming? Who else? That boy you're always looking for. That's why you're always coming up here. I have an idea. Why don't you and I play a game? A game again? But I'm so tired. What are you thinking about, my beautiful Queen Janga? I have been queen for quite some time now. There have been a lot of changes in our kingdom. Huh. And everything is much better all because of you, your majesty. <laughs> I am pleased, Akiram. I got what I wanted. My Queen Janga, I wish to let you know that all is ready for your royal celebration. Hmm. Jezebel? What? Jezebel is missing again? Haven't you seen her? Mm, no. I know you're keeping something from me. Uh, um. Bukanding? Don't tell me that. Your guess is right, Mother. Jezebel went to the surface again? Jezebel! We've been waiting for you! Did you go to the surface again? I didn't! I was out praying. I went to Quran. One who speaks the truth speaks in true liberty. Oh, all right. But Tring and I were playing at the surface. See, I knew it! What took you so long? That girl is really so stubborn. I don't know what to do with her anymore. Don't upset yourself too much. And how can I not be upset? What if someone catches her? Is she not aware of the punishment that the queen may give her when she's caught? If she learns that Jezebel's been disobeying her rules? Your scales are so shiny, my princess. That's what I want, mother. I'm just making sure that my scales will be shiny and glittering tonight. I want to look perfect for my birthday. You don't have to worry, Burbala. You will be the fairest mermaid in the kingdom tonight. Really, Mother? Do you think so? Why not? Do you think that there could be anyone else? No, I don't, Mother. I just want to make sure. You are my daughter. The one and only princess. You are the rightful heir to my throne. Could anyone be more beautiful? No, Mother. Aren't you afraid that someone might see you? Don't you know the Queen's punishment is severe? I'm not. I'm careful. I can easily swim my way out of any tangle. No one's going to catch me. There's a saying that goes, Don't play with fire if you don't want to get burned. Wait, what's fire? I have no idea. You're so strange. <laughs> anyway, I have to leave now. My mother might be looking for me. See you two later. <laughs> Take, Take care. care. Erebus, you surprised me. I didn't know you were there. <gasps> Jezebel, you really ought to be afraid. Why did you break the rules again? Hello there, merman. It's a good thing no one else saw you. What if somebody else did see you? That's why you're there, Erebus. What's the use of being the guardian of the seas if you can't even watch over me? And why would he do that when you're only a handmaiden? Hey, I'm the prettiest handmaiden ever. Am I right? <laughs> All right then, I'll see you. I have to go. <laughs> Mother? 
How long have you been waiting for me? I have been waiting for ages. And where have you been? I went there. Oh, I meant over there. You are lying to me, Jezebel. I know you came from the surface. What? I just went out for a swim. Oh, you naughty girl. I don't know what to do with you. You are always giving me a headache, Jezebel. Tell me what I have to do to make you listen to me. Mother, please don't be angry with me. Do you know that I love you very much? What is that? Here, this is for you. And why aren't you ready yet? Aren't you forgetting something? I forgot it's Burbulous birthday. Well, where have you been? Don't you know Princess Burbola has been looking for you? I had to get ready. Princess Burbola is so beautiful. And her tail is so shiny. Happy birthday, my dear princess. <laughs> Thank you, Queen Mother. Why is Chessable late? I don't know what I can do to make her listen. She keeps on disobeying me. Mother, you should just let Jezebel be. She's all grown up now. And she knows what she's doing. It's not that I'm trying to control her every move, Bukanding. I'm just afraid that one day... She might have the same fate as her mother's. So you mean you're one of Princess Burbola's handmaidens? I am. I'm her servant. I'm always at her beck and call. Anything that she asks of me, I do for her. When I first saw you, I thought you were royalty. Oh, I'm not. If you were to ask me, you're so beautiful and your tail is so shiny. You could pass for royalty. Hold on. Stop it. Your flattery won't work on me. <laughs> Don't even try because it won't work, all right? And besides, it's Burbola. Who's the real princess, and I'm just her servant, right? You may just be a servant, but you're the fairest. You're even more beautiful than a royal princess, Burbola. Please don't compare me to Burbola. Burbola? Look at your servant, Jezebel. She acts as if she's royalty. Why do you let her do that? What makes you think that I'd let her do that, Susita? Just watch me. I am going to put Jezebel in her place. Jezebel! I want you to come here. Yes, Your Grace. Sorry, I have to go. I have to attend to the princess now. Tell me, who is the real mother of Jezebel? I love you very much. <laughs> Farewell, Jezebel. I love you very much. Please tell me who her real mother is. 
She was a very dear friend of mine. She loved Jezebel with all her life. But circumstances forced her to leave her daughter with me. What did you call me, Jezebel? Burbola? No, Your Highness, I called you Princess Burbola. You liar! I clearly heard you. You said Burbola. You didn't call her princess. Remember this, Jezebel. It doesn't mean that just because you're part of my court, you can act like a member of the royal family. Because you are not royalty. You are a lowly commoner and nothing more. You're nothing but a servant. You are just my maid. I know that, Your Highness. And I never forget Princess Burbola. Very good. All right. You may clean my scales now. Yes, Your Grace. Really, Jezebel? That Barracuda Burbola did that to you? Why did you allow her to do that? Everybody knows that you are far more beautiful than her. But Princess Burbola was speaking the truth. She's royalty and I'm just... I'm just a servant in her court. Now, Burbola may be royalty, and you, Jezebel, are her servant. But tell me why your tail is so much more beautiful than her tail. No, it's not. You know what? Your eyesight must be going bad. We're not blind, Jezebel. You have the shiniest scales in the kingdom, and Burbola can't compare. You're coming with us, Carago. Believe me, Osaro. I didn't take those pearls. Stop lying. You're wasting your time. Save your story for Queen Janga. I don't want to. She'll feed me to Octivo. You're coming with us. You can't make me. You have no choice. Let's go. Take him. Queen Janga is really evil, isn't she? Jella, you shouldn't say such things. It's forbidden. There is a saying. If the throne is ruled by evil, the realm is clothed in darkness. And it's the truth. The former queen was said to be so much kinder. I wonder where that queen could be now. She suddenly disappeared, and nobody knows where she went. That's why Janga took her place. That is so sad. You know very well that I hate it when my rules are disobeyed. Please have mercy on me, Your Majesty. I'm innocent. I did not steal anything. You dare call me a liar? What should we do with him, Your Majesty? Octavo must be hungry by now. <laughs> Octavo! Octavo, I have a surprise for you! Almost done with your blanket, Jezebel. Thank you, Mother. It's very beautiful and so different from the others you've made. Really? Of course, because this one's special. I made it especially for my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so lucky to have you as a mother. <laughs> Listen, dear. Even if you're not really my daughter, I promise to always love you like one of my own children. <laughs> Yes, I know that. That's why I'm so happy, Mother. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, what's wrong, Jezebel? Mother, can you tell me who my real mother is? And what does she look like? Does she love me? Your mother is very beautiful. She's as pretty as you are. Is my mother a servant like me too? Your mother is very special, Jezebel. 
I promise you that soon enough you will know everything there is to know about her. But does she love me? Yes, she does. But if she truly does, then why did she have to leave me? Doesn't true love mean that you are always there for the ones you care about? Just like you. You always wait for me to come home every time. You're there whenever I need you. But my mother abandoned me. Your mother would never want to do that to you, Jezebel. But remember, she made a very serious mistake. She fell in love with a mortal. My mother fell in love with a mortal? It's true. That was her biggest mistake. It is forbidden. Mortals and Murpho can never fall in love and be together no matter what. But why can't we, Mother? Because mortals are cruel. They will show no mercy to us merfolk. So remember, you should never fall in love with a mortal, all right? Mother is wrong. It's not true that mortals are cruel. Jezebel, is she there? She hasn't arrived yet. All right, then. Please just let me know if she's already here. Why are you so interested in that lowly servant? Well, because she... she happens to be my friend. Then you do not know how to choose your friends. She's not one of us. You are royalty. She's nothing but a servant. Erebus, you should never associate yourself with the lowliest kind of merfolk. Berbola. In friendship, one's status makes no difference. Jezebel is kind. That's all that matters. I'm kind too, aren't I? This isn't enough, Osaro. Um, I know, Your Majesty. But then, that's all I could collect from your subjects. So tell me, how do you expect me to rule the kingdom properly when our subjects refuse to pay their taxes? Next time, Osaro, you must do everything to increase your collection. As you wish, Your Highness. I have some bad news, my queen. What is it? I've heard that a mermaid has been going to the surface. She's been disobeying your rules, Your Majesty. Tell me who? Who among my constituents dare disobey my commands? This is where I 
first saw him. I wish he comes back.